This is just going to be a quick tutorial. I want to show you how to use the advanced glide features in Caustic 3. So to demonstrate this, I've loaded up a subsynth and I've loaded the preset we created in the subsynth tutorial. Now, if I go down to the pattern editor and drop a few notes, you'll notice I can't set them to glide. Now, normally, only monophonic machines like the bass line and the modular synth can use glide. But if you set polyphony down to one on any instrument, which allows you to do so, you now get the option to glide your notes. So if I set this to play, you'll see how it bends these notes. Now this is pretty standard. This looks a lot like what was in the bass line, but the advanced part comes from using a note to define the length of the glide between notes. So let's say I'll stretch this note out and bring this one right up to it. This will give us a normal glide. So it happens really quickly between these two notes. Now if I wanted to glide over a longer period of time, what you do is you set the length of the first note to overlap the second one. And the overlap portion will define the duration of the glide. So this is really good if you want something really long. You can set it to as long as you want. Now if you want something longer, of course, you can set your pattern to a longer pattern. If you want a really, really long glide, well then you can use the piano roll in the sequencer and set your note, set your second note, and set the second one to glide. Now if you're in song mode and you play this, you'll now get a very, very long glide. So this can be useful for effects or anything you can think of. It's just an extra creative tool to use in your songs. If you use a really, really short bend between notes, you can do something like a pitch bend. So if you've got something like this, where it's just bending between these two notes and you set all of these to glide, you'll get something like this. Oops, sorry, pattern mode. So anyway, that's just a little extra something. So remember the overlap time defines the glide time now. Um, if you butt the notes up right up against each other, it's a standard instant glide, but if you use the overlap portion, you can glide over a longer portion of time.